What is up everybody, Nia here again. I am going to be teaching you today how to make a crouch button and how to set up the animation blueprint and everything so that when you walk, you start crouching and when you stop, you go back. All right, so let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our project settings and we're gonna go to engine and then we're gonna go down here to input. And once we're in input, we're gonna make ourselves a new action mapping. And so you can just click down this little tab if it's not already open. We're going to make a brand new action mapping by clicking this little plus button. We're going to name it crouch and we're going to set it to whatever button we want our crouch button to be. And we're going to go into our content drawer and we're going to navigate to our third person blueprint or whatever character blueprint you're going to be using. Now within the character blueprint, this is actually really easy to set up. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to right click and we're going to type in crouch and we're going to call our event, our action mapping. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to come down here to variables and we're going to create a brand new variable. We're going to name it is crouching question mark and make sure it's a boolean. So now off of the pressed pin, we're going to come out here and we're going to type in flip flop and we're going to drag this down a little bit. Now off of a, what we're going to do is we're going to type in crouch again and unreal engine five actually has its own crouch function built in which when you use this function it actually changes your character capsule to a sphere instead of an oval so it makes you smaller so you can go into like caves and stuff but it also changes where the camera is so it crouches down with the player as well now off of the b we're going to drag out and we're going to type in uncrouch now off of the top one we're going to type is crouching and we're going to set it and then we're just going to copy this and we're going to paste it below. We're going to plug this pin up and we're going to check mark the top one so that whenever we press it, it sets our crouching and then whenever we press it again, it unsets it. So you can either have this on a toggle like I have currently or you can have it on a holdable and all you have to do is delete the flip flop and then from the pressed, you just pin that into the top on the crouch and then from released to the uncrouch. But I'm just going to go back to a flip flop right now. And this is our basic crouch function pretty much done right now. If you haven't already watched my video on how to set up an animation blueprint and a blend space, you can go watch that and then come back to this video if you want. It explains how to set up all the variables you'll need within the event graph for your blueprint as well as setting up your blend space. Before we do anything in the anim graph, we have to set something up real quick. So we already have our is crouching boolean. So if you don't already have your third person character in your event graph, what you do You'll just cast your third person character and then as your third person character, you'll drag off this node and you'll type in is crouching. You'll go ahead and get this and you pull off and you and you'll set is crouching and then you'll try to plug it as far out in the blueprint as you can to make sure that it sets properly. All right. So what we're going to do within our anim graph right now is we're going to click and we're going to add two states. We're going to name this first one crouch and we're going to name the second one crouch moving. Now what we're going to do is we're going to drag from the idle to the crouch and then from crouch back to idle and then from crouch to crouch moving and then back and then one singular line from crouch moving to idle. Now for me, considering that I have a separate state for my running animation, I'm going to go ahead and drag one to here and drag it back. Uh, if you have your running state and your idle state as one, you don't have to do this. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the idle to crouch and we're just gonna take is crouching and plug it in here. Then we're gonna go back out and we're gonna go in from crouch to idle. And we're gonna grab our is crouching, we're gonna get it. And then we're just gonna type in not boolean. And we're gonna plug this in and that's it. Now from crouch to crouch moving, we go in here. So this is gonna be a little bit of code, but we're just gonna drag in crouching, get it. We're gonna drag off of it and we're gonna type in equals. We're going to check this little box right here and we're going to drag off and we're going to type and boolean. We're going to plug this into the result and right over here we're going to grab our ground speed variable. We're going to get it. We're going to drag off of here and we're going to type in greater than equals. We're going to plug this into the and boolean and we're going to make this value 10. Now for the crouch moving back to crouch we're going to go in here and we're actually gonna go back and we're gonna go ahead and copy all of this. And we'll go back in here and we'll paste it. We'll move it up a little bit, we'll plug it in. And we'll go ahead and highlight this and we'll delete and we'll pull off and we'll get a less than equal. We'll plug this one in. And we'll go ahead and make the, this value five. Now for my crouch to running and back 
we're just going to go in here and we're going to grab is crouching. We're going to pull off of here and we're going to get not boolean. We're going to plug that in. And then we're going to go back out and we're going to go back to this one and we're just going to plug in is crouching. And then for the crouch moving to idle, what we'll do is we'll come in here and we'll grab is crouching and we will make a not boolean again. And we'll just plug that in. And now we'll compile and save and everything should be done. So now we have most of our transitions done. We'll go into our crouch. And we'll go ahead and find our crouch. We'll plug our crouch idle into our result. And we'll go back out and we'll go into our crouch moving. Then we'll go ahead and grab our crouch moving and we'll plug it in here. We'll compile and save it. And now we should be able to just hit play and we hit C. We go into our crouch animation. We start to move and we move in and we can press C and we're out of it. And that right there is a very quick, very simple way to do your animations and your crouches. So I hope you guys enjoyed, I hope I taught you something, and uh, if you enjoyed, if you did enjoy this, let me know what I can do in the future for you. Thank you guys so much for the support, and near out. Later.